Hey there champions. Today we are going to start learning about the parts of number seven. And as you see here on my screen, I have a blank screen and on the right I have some red counters and below that I have some yellow counters. So we are gonna learn about the parts of seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and take my red counters and I am going to just make seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, six, and seven. So let's count and make sure we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Okay, on the next line, I am going to bring over one yellow counter, just one. But I need seven, so how many red counters should I add to make seven? Well, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. All right, let's go back and look at this. I have one yellow counter and how many red counters do I have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I know that seven has the same value as one and six. Yes, okay. So let's go back to our yellow counters. Now I'm gonna um, add two yellow counters. One, oops, one, and two. Okay, let's think about this. I need seven counters in all, and I have two yellow counters. How many red counters do I need to add to make seven? Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oops. All right, let's go back and look. I have two yellow counters, and I have one, two, three, four, five red counters. So now I know that seven has the same value as two and five. Okay, let's go to the next line. I'm gonna start with my yellow counters again, but this time I'm gonna be bring three yellow counters over. One, two, and three. Okay, I've gotta to get to number seven. And I've got three yellow counters. One, two, three. How many red counters do you think I need to add to get to seven? So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, and seven. All right, let's go back and look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have three yellow counters. And I have one, two, three, four red counters. So now I know that seven has the same value as three and four. Okay, I'm gonna keep adding. I'm gonna go over and get four yellow counters this time. One, two, three, and four. So here I have four yellow counters and I want seven counters in all. So how many red counters do I need to add to my four yellow counters to get to seven? Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Okay, let's go back and look. I have seven counters in all in, on this line, and I have four yellow counters and three red counters, so now I know that four and three have the same value as seven. Okay, let's keep going. I added four yellow counters last time. Now I'm going to add five to my next line. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five yellow counters, but I want to get to seven counters. So how many more red counters can I add to my five to get to seven? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see. So I know that I have one, two, three, four, five yellow counters and one, two red counters. So now I know that seven has the same value as five and two. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna bring over, since I had five yellow counters on this line, I'm gonna bring six yellow counters over one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I have six yellow counters, but I need to get to seven. Do you know how many red counters I need to add to get to seven? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one more makes seven. So now I know that seven has the same value as six and one. Very nice. Let's go back up here to the top really fast. We didn't talk about um, this first line. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red counters, but zero yellow counters. So we also know that seven has the same value as seven and zero. Very nice. Now I want you guys to play this game yourselves.